Hello everyone! Today we are going to be looking at Xenotic. Uh, Xenotic is an open source game under the copyleft license. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make maps in this game. And uh, for those of you who have uh, never had the chance to see this game, uh, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay right here. So the nice thing about this game is that it does work on Linux and Mac. It is an open source game, so if you feel so inclined, if you have experience, uh, you can totally contribute to the game. And this video will help you on that journey. So the reason why I'm making this tutorial um, is because when I went to the forums to try and to see if there were any uh, resources I could use, I the threads that I found were outdated and all of the links were dead. So, so the only really helpful resource going to the uh, GitLab page and then going to the wiki uh, where it has the uh, the official mapping guide. And for somebody who's just starting out, I feel like that's uh, a little bit uh, an obscure place. Um, personally, when I try and learn something new, I, uh, the first place I go to is YouTube. So I, I figured that uh, posting a video tutorial would uh, help people a lot, um, especially since I, when I was learning, I was running into uh, a couple of hiccups. So without any further delay, let's get into map making. So we're going to start with just downloading the uh, Zona 2 game, and then we're going to unpack it once it's done downloading. This is the Zona 2 game. You can run it uh, here. Set it to the desktop to make a shortcut. So I'm just going to move this to um, to the program files on my machine just to make things nice and simple. Program files. All right, so now we can see that our game is up and running. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this and now show you how to put the uh, map stuff. So after downloading the game, then you can go to the uh, Zonatic slash Zonatic GitLab and this will have uh, all of the game's uh, code. And what you want to do is click on this tab here that says Wiki, uh, and it'll take you to a list of all the stuff you can learn, uh, some gameplay tricks, but we're interested in mapping. So you have to scroll down, you have development, modeling, texturing, and mapping. So you click the Creating uh, Maps link. So we're going to click on the introduction here, and then we're going to go step by step through the process so uh, you guys don't miss anything important. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on uh, Windows if you're using a Linux machine, I'm sorry, but this uh, guide also has uh, instructions for uh, Linux users. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the setup. Uh, if uh, you need to download the mapping support, uh, I like to do stuff on my desktop, so give that a second and you'll be unzipping it. Um, let's go into uh, my user folder now. Uh, on By default, it should be in the C drive. Uh, click on your name, and then you'll have all this wonderful stuff. Uh, you want to go to user, to users, yeah, the user is your name. And then we want to go to saved games. And then you'll have the folder of, for Zonotic. Uh, data. And you want to uh, drop the stuff from... You want to drop the files that we're gonna extract uh, you want to download you want to drop part of the files uh, from Zonotic into um, into that into this folder right here okay 
and our download is finished. Now I'm just going to take off my webcam so we can focus on the important stuff here. So yeah, we have two folders here. One is called data, one is called mapping. Uh, the data we want to actually drop here in the uh, Zonotic. Uh, I'm going to drop this mapping pack into our data folder. So after downloading the map supporting zip, uh, then we can go and unpack this good stuff. Uh, first, what you want to do is go to your uh, this file path here. And uh, let me show you how that's done. So we go to uh, the C, we go to users, uh, you go to your particular username, then we see the safe games file here, and then we have uh, Zonotic. Uh, and we have some data here that was created when uh, we first ran the game. And what we want to do is uh, go to the map support file, I'm going to open it up, uh, data, and we want to actually drop this, uh, we're going to drop this into the Sonotic uh, file. Uh, so this is the saved game uh, Sonotic, and uh, let's see, is it in, we actually need to put it in the data file, so I lied to you. So here we go. Uh, and be careful because there's two data files. You don't want to go in uh, the data data file. You just want to go into the single data. In that same download uh, of the mapping support file, um, you should see two folders. You should see data and then mapping. Uh, and it contains uh, NetRadiant. Uh, NetRadiant is the engine in which uh, Zonotic is, builds all of its maps in. It's uh, kind of a standard among uh, Quake 3, uh, all the games using the Quake 3 engine. Uh, there's a couple of them out there and they all use the Radiance. Uh, so this can be actually used pretty much as a, a standalone um, folder. So what you can do is you can just take this and also move it to the same uh, directory where you put uh, the Zonotic uh, and it'll work just fine. Alright, and uh, when you open it up, it'll give you the uh, exe. And what we want to do is uh, we're going to send this to the desktop just to make a shortcut for ourselves. Excellent. And now uh, when you run this, uh, it's, it's going to ask you which game uh, you want uh, to make maps for. Um, click Zonotic. And this is all included in the map support file. Uh, this is the... Uh, there are different versions of NetRadiant. It is also a open source project, so uh, you're going to probably find a lot of versions out there. Uh, this is the uh, official version, okay? Uh, this is how the editor looks like when you first start it up. Your layout might not be exactly the same, um, but we can, uh, there's instructions on how to change that. Uh, what you want to do is you're going to go to the layout. So in order to change the layout to have it like I have it in this video, you just need to go to the edit tab preferences uh, and you'll have a layout here and uh, I believe it starts you out in, in this window but we really want this one okay and from here uh, we can actually start uh, building some maps